Oh my gosh, Heidi working. Good evening. Good evening, Heidi. You still working? I'm still working. I wanted to show you. Look. Yeah. Oh yeah, the last day of the month. Closing, right? Tomorrow's the last day, but we're having a lot of or more gauges today. So I don't think I'll be able to to participate, not the first hour, okay? Keep connected and if you have time to participate, let me know. If not, I understand, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you very much. Don't forget keeping connected because that way you are like. It's early, right? Nobody else has connected. There's Eliana connected, but I don't know if she's around. Uh, no. Hi, good evening. Oh, yeah, yeah there she is. Well, there's so, two of you. Sorry, I'm taking my Can dinner right dinner? now. Por favor. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, it's no, señores. El otro sí es para pagar crédito, pero este solo es para pagar crédito. Ah, es para ser un interesante night. So sorry not having you totally in the class, in the class, Heidi. But it's okay. I'm used to do a lot of things at the same time, so don't worry. Yeah, but, yeah, but your stuff is pretty delicate. Yeah, I know. Your stuff is pretty delicate. So yeah, I mean, if for one activity you tell me, look, I have time to participate. Cool. If you cannot, don't worry. I understand totally. Because okay. yeah, I know that some of the stuff you do is stressful and you need to be but remember i felt like anxious because my my brigades hadn't been approved remember yeah but they did approve them so oh <laughs> yeah congrats yeah so right you know there's there's an expression for that it happened uh, right in the nick of time. It happened mm -hmm. right in the nick of time. In the nick. In the oh. nick. N-I-C-K, like the name. Nick of time. Nick. Oh, okay. Right in the yeah, nick right of in time. the nick of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's to say that it happened exactly in I mean when the when the allowed time was going to end. Okay. Okay. Like uh, you had until today to finish something and you finish it right today. It happened right in the nick of time. Mm -hmm. In the nick of time. Yep. At the end of the month, everything is in the nick of time, believe me. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, I know. We try I not know. to. I've been waiting for this applause for 15 days. It's not my for fault. Real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I mean, but anyway, that's a little works. bit, that's a little bit bad because I mean, clients are pushing you, right? Yeah. Not they only are complaining. My clients, no, not only my clients, but my boss too. Yeah, of course. But I mean, clients are like asking you, like if you can solve it. 
and your boss is telling you what are you doing and and i mean it's a problem when when your results depend on other people's job that's a problem it depends on you uh -huh, exactly because i mean uh, you do your part but if you are dependent on other people's job man that sometimes is stressful it is very worth it believe me i'll celebrate yeah yeah of course of course <laughs> have a big Saturday. have a big hamburger like this <laughs> no 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 hamburger <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding i know i know you don't really like it no but it's nah. cool i mean it's cool the the fact that that you could make it because it's a stressful uh, my 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 sister-in-law's husband works for a bank well she also works for a bank and they're in two different banks and and in his case the area he is in uh, that's always a problem he's like calling clients waiting for for approval and sometimes he's got everything set and they didn't approve and I he's know. like Man. i i have been doing this for the last 27 years so i'm used to it but still to. it's stressful yeah but i enjoy it honestly yeah yeah i understand you totally i've been at i've been at this for 22 years now mm -hmm. and it's like cool i mean there are some things in my case you know as i'm a teacher the the part of the job that is stressful for me kind of stressful is the the paperwork mm -hmm. mostly the paperwork we do at the end of the school okay. year that's yeah. horrible for me Sorry, and teacher, I'm just leaving for a little work. Sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. Go ahead, go ahead. Do your thing. So, Eliana. Hi, teacher. Finish? The thing is, uh, I take ah, my you're out. out. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm waiting for my sister because I had to take her at yeah. her best friend sorry and her best friend uh, to a concert and my daddy my daddy can't take her and my brother still doesn't have a car so i have to take her to the stadio Cuscatlan. <laughs> there's a concert who's playing uh, martin 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 garrix martin garrix oh, yeah, it's true man yeah. <laughs> So, so she uh, yeah yeah you know what i wish i could have gone but the problem is that uh my schedule always yeah well she's very excited and uh, oh, yeah. i asked I her believe. that that consult with uber but uh, the the app so expensive are uh, like 20 boxes for the ride so uh, i told her that i i i I, I can take it. Yeah. But yeah, I'm here, I'm here and listening and, and all. Those, I'm here. Those concerts are cool. I remember what was it? Life in colors? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Pretty cool. There was ben. a time when I used to go to concerts and I used to love uh, uh well mostly, you know, my thing was trans. I used to love listening to trans music. But this year, uh, I think that there are going to be there are going to be so many concerts, concerts. So many artists yeah. uh, are coming to to the country. So it's uh, gonna going to be a, an interesting year in that in that. For, the, for that side, concerts. Yeah, on that side. Yeah, you know, the problem for me is that unless they are performed on Saturdays, I cannot attend. I'm always working. Yeah. But, well, how was your day? Mine? Well, cool. It rained a lot. Yeah. I love it when it rains. 
I just wanted to stay <laughs> in bed <laughs> with my cobijita. <laughs> really? Well, you know, in my case, I like to go out when it rains. It's relaxing for me. I like it. I just love the rain. Yeah, I remember you You told us uh, a few days ago that you like to drive. Yeah. And when it's raining, for you, it's more relaxing. Yeah, well, believe me, even walking under the rain, it's something that I I really enjoy. Doesn't yeah, matter nice. for me to, to get wet. I don't care. I just like it. It's funny. Yeah. Hey, it's a lot of fun. No, it's fun. It's fun. Okay. Yeah. If you say it's fun, you are saying es divertido. If you say it's funny, you are saying es gracioso. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Thank you. No problem, no problem. But, well, in my case, my day was mm, the same as usual. At the morning, I was attending some meetings from with my bus. And, after, and in the afternoon... I just was doing paperwork, a lot of paperwork. Uh, yeah, and this I hate paperwork. Yeah, and this week particularly, particularly, and particularly. I particularly thank you. I'm helping a a, a friend, one a coworker, because uh, she's on her vacations. Hmm. So you're gonna so, be busy. Yeah, this week. Yeah, but eh, it's better because I I don't I don't know how to say it. Porque no siento el día. Today I don't feel the pass of time. Uh, exactly. Or you can just say time flies. No, that's that was the case today. For me, time flies today. Oh really? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because sometimes when days are long and stressful, we get cranky. Yeah. That happens to me. I mean, some well, days I feel them so long. Yeah. And also I was <laughs> thinking on my, <laughs> my wedding. <laughs> oh, you were thinking on your wedding? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Liana. It was the topic. It was the topic. <laughs> no, it's okay. It was fun. I hope so. I hope you enjoy the activity. Yeah, I really enjoy it. <laughs> it's actually good when you guys can so participate sorry. actively on the activities. Yeah. Well, in my case, uh, I think that uh, since the, the classes start, uh, it really helped me a lot uh, this kind of exercises because uh, I I I don't know how to say it. Entro como en pánico when I have to talk I, in English. I panic. I panic. Yeah, and sometimes I don't know <coughs> what to say. And, Sorry. And, and well, for me, my personal case, uh, uh, it works a lot. So glad to hear it. Welcome to the class again. Let me know when you are home. Okay. So we yeah. Can... Yeah, of course. Well, Thank you, teacher. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Let's see. Uh, 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 Anna Claudia, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm just fine. Just fine. What about you? I'm doing very well, too. I'm just waiting for a delivery. I made a, an order for the supermarket. And I'm just waiting for they to come in a moment because they already call me. They already bringing my my order, but maybe in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, delivery, delivery. Yes, delivery. <laughs> you That's just true. don't imagine how many time I save making all these stuff online. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Hmm. Still, in my case. I think I'm old fashioned. I I prefer to go out. Oh, great. Well, yeah, I understand. But oh, come on, you, you lose time looking for the thing, even though you uh, made a list or you know what you're going to, to purchase, but uh, you need to 
to waste time. I don't remember. What is the word we use para hacer la línea en la caja? Q, ¿Eh? Q, Q. Q, Q, in the Q, yeah. the same as we use in calls. Yeah, the oh. same one. Okay, so when I'm in Q, <laughs> is that the way I had to say? Well, you can say when I'm queuing. <gasps> okay, when I'm queuing. Or you can say when I'm standing online. Mm. Well, no, when I'm standing on the line. Uh -huh, standing on, on the, the line, line of the supermarket, do I need to specify? When I'm standing, no, because we are already talking about the supermarket. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So let me use, so I am I think I was time when queuing, wow, extraño se ve. That's <laughs> why you can say when I am standing online. Okay. Let me let me use these strange words because I use it. I yeah, thought it was just for calls or the no. printout thing. Mm. Okay, so uh, the time you waste queuing and then coming back at home, the time you spend going to that place. Oh come on, it's like two hours. No no no. Yeah, it's like that. I go, but just go once uh, in a month, maybe if I need to purchase fresh uh, meal or things that I know that I must take care about the expiration date, stuff like that. But you know, the other hand, uh, in my case, it's a family trip. Oh, <laughs> we go like going trip, to Dollar City. Go, oh, I love mm, to go going to Dollar City. I hate that. I hate that place. <laughs> Because you purchased things that you never use. <laughs> I hate that place. No, but to be honest, going to the supermarket, in my case, I mean, we go the three of us and we take ale after ale. Ah, uh, ale. Yeah. Pasillo. Yep. But it's not whole. Can I use whole? No. Why? Uh -uh. No way, Jose. Why not? Ooh, because Please spell it to me. Please spell it to me. A, you say? A, A, I, S, L, E. Uh, Aisle. Mm, okay, okay. Aisle. The delivery is coming, teacher. I'm sorry. I, I okay, must cool. stand up. Let me just give me a couple of minutes. I will be coming back. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Henry, hello, Henry. How are you? I'm sorry, I'm getting out from my dinner. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. We will talk later, Henry. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Let's see. Who else is around? Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? You are happy tonight. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> I feel happy <laughs> and I feel tired. But, but tomorrow you are not working. Yes. It's uh, one reason to make me happy today. <laughs> yeah, of course. And, to, and tomorrow is a closing and I and you are not going to be there. Uh -huh. ah. So double reason to be happy. Yes. That's cool. It's good be, but I have a very busy day because I have a lot of cases and like this. But it's okay. Maybe I feel tired and because today my mother and my sister um, saw a, a apartment uh, because mm -hmm. I think to move, but he's not sure. But, and I waiting in my granny house for a long time. And I can move in my 
our lunch and my lunch lunch hour no the lunch hour the lunch hour uh -huh, the lunch hour oh, really it's okay mm. <laughs> you just go like yeah it's okay in the end it's okay uh, so okay. they are moving you say they are moving right yes mm -hmm. maybe i have a lot of possibility that i change to or move a new house or new apartment but don't have a in this moment don't have a a lot of option because a lot of property uh -huh, very yeah. expensive yeah. and it's very complicated yeah i know what you mean uh -huh. and moving is is complex uh -huh. it is more complex because uh, i don't know it make a lot of time to have a plan for you the they change that under internet and like this and but in this moment only see a different option but they don't have a specific place to move nothing is said uh -huh, not yeah man but, i hate moving i do hate it <laughs> yes but in this moment i don't have a lot of money to buy a, a house or like this and it's the same to rent seguir, uh -huh. follow yeah. to rent uh -huh. maybe many years to to have a more possibilities in the future well who knows who knows you know sometimes the opportunities appear uh-huh yes but in this moment i still the difference is maybe i move with my mother in and not only my sister but it's com it's more complex for this reason <laughs> okay well let's hope everything turns out okay for you and i mean i wish you the best house hunting is complex Yes, thank you. Welcome, Maria Alejandra. Let's see who else is around. Yes, Iliana, tell me. You raise your hand. Okay, I'm in oh, sorry. Okay, don't worry. Let's see. Who else is around? Mm -hmm. Jose Wilfredo. Hello, Mr. How are you? Perhaps not available. Jacqueline. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Jacqueline? Well, teacher, um, I have a headache. <laughs> I got a headache. Yeah. Hi. A hard day at work? Mm, yes, a hard day. Um, today we have to take um the reading to each student, and also we receive a new uh, student. Oh really? Mm -hmm. And we had to to do a um a little test to check what what a diagnostic. Yes, that's the, exactly what. Thank you, teacher. A diagnostic. Mm -hmm. And well, and we had uh, also a a meeting with um uh, um I forgot. How do you say, directora? Principal. Principal, yeah. Uh -huh. To talk about uh, some problems in the in the school and well, ah, <laughs> it was a very hard day, teacher. 
Really? I can tell, I can tell. Mm. But, what time uh, did you finish your 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 shift? Mm, at 5.30. Oh my gosh, what time did you make it home? At 7.30, because mm. of the traffic and well, the situation in our country is very difficult, and I live in a in a dangerous um, neighbor, and many a lot of police and, and militaries um, are there. And soldiers. They, soldiers, thank you, and they had a um, on retain checkpoint. <laughs> Checkpoint, thank you, teacher. Yeah, for that reason, I came very late to my home. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. But um, um, I have, I am with all the, um, the good attitude to learn English. That's what really matters. I mean, you are home, you are safe at your house, you are ready for the class. No worries, it's going to be fun tonight. We got <laughs> some activities to perform. Thank you very much, Jacqueline, and welcome. Thanks. Thanks for asking, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Ramon Enrique, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? I'm fine. Um, I just arrived. Uh, I don't know, Llegar. Yeah. Arrived oh, really? to my home. Yes. You, uh, you just I, arrived? I, oh. Yes. Uh, I, let me see. I, uh, I am to 10 minutes from my, no, five minutes from my home. Okay. No, in this case, it's not I just. It's I'm about to arrive home. Okay, I'm about I to am, arrive home. Yes. Okay, don't worry, we will talk later, Ramon. Thank you very much and welcome. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Hey guys, let me get the attendance before we move on. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza? Present, teacher. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gómez? Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Here I am. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Uh, Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Filmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jose Rivas, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. So I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Okay. How was your day? Um, was good. I can say that was good. So like the days before. So I can say that this week. So it's, it's been a good start, week for you. Mm -hmm, yep. It started nice. So I don't have any complaint about it. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, you know, there's coming, there's coming Easter. Do you have anything planned for vacation? 
and not really gonna have vacation no <laughs> i had to work that's bad yes <laughs> so sorry to hear that uh, okay, when do you how when do you have vacation then? So let's see on this coming June the this coming June, so but I have to request for for the vacations. Oh really? You have to mm -hmm. request for the time. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. And I I don't have um, so the exactly days that I really want to, to enjoy the vacation. So I was thinking about August or September. So because mm -hmm. I have the time to, oh, to you take can the pick. vacation. You can after. pick when you want them. Oh, yes. That's cool. So it depends as, as well for the availability. So if they approve. Yeah, I understand. I understand you. Yeah, but at least if you have the chance and it's 50 50, I mean, it's cool. Yeah, that's right. And also, I have the chance to choose like eight days and then so I can take the rest. Of oh, the... you can split it. Yes, yeah, I can divide it too. Mm -hmm. No, not divide it. Split In this it. Case, you said split. Yes. Okay, I can split it. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Right. But it's better, it's better to take the 15 days, I think, <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, in a way it is. Well, mostly it depends on, mm -hmm. on what project do you have. I mean, like, mm -hmm. if, if you want, you are like, one year you are like, man, I want to enjoy them, the whole thing together, it's cool. But what about if you say, hmm, I will take these days and these months and I will save some for some other months, I mean, also, it depends on, on on what you got, what you got planned. Mm -hmm, that's right. Yep. And also, so I was thinking so to take so and split the the, the vacation so eight to seven because I I was thinking so to go to Mexico with a bank. So, but basically they will go on October. That is is a so long now I can say yeah. so and I really want the vacations too but I don't know yeah, yeah. so and also so if if I not mistaken so they have to make the plans so like the complete the the interruns on this coming week I, the I think members, that I don't have the members the members okay the members of the of the group of the band I can say so they will complete there and, and tell me how many uh, what what type of band is that what like music do they play uh, uh, it's like a, a normal band so like band of the past oh really cool mm -hmm. yeah that's so nice uh, that's nice yeah so it's it's really nice because i got experience so traveling <laughs> to some places i got the opportunity to uh, to go to the yeah, to costa rica so and it was nice well, so glad you can have those chances yeah. nice talking to you jose welcome thanks you're welcome roxana where are you hi teacher good evening good evening how are you tell me roxana what did you do to your car uh, I'm not sure, teacher. <coughs> I'm checking the uh, water and maybe I put it the, no sé cómo se dice, el tapón. Um, the cap. The cap, el tapón del. Yeah, 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 yeah. Radiator. Okay, the cap, maybe um, it's, it's not was. No, it wasn't um, flojo, no sé cómo se dice flojo. Baggy? Loose, no. loose. It wasn't loose, but I think um, it was, um, I no sé, desnivelado. Mm -hmm. that it was loose. 
Yeah, and when I was driving, uh, the cab. Hello. Oh, yeah, hello. And My gosh. I need to uh, wait for uh, another cab, you know, because it, the car was uh, hot and I couldn't drive with a. Yeah. Of course you couldn't. Yeah. And that's the reason. But now I need to check the the water and change change it because yeah. I I mix I have I know I do I did a mix with water and and the, the chemical. Pregnant. Yeah, the chemical they apply. The chemical. Yeah. Yeah. And I need to uh, check it on weekend. Better take it off all, take it out all of it and pour a new mm -hmm. one. It's better. Mm -hmm. It's yes. always better. Yeah, because yeah, I, I thought, oh man, Roxana, burn her car. No, <laughs> I was uh, near to my uh, house because uh, I was telling you the last time that um, I was driving um, Sierra Morena uh -huh. because the gym is there. Yeah. But uh, the distance is around, uh, I don't know, maybe five quarters, six quarters. So Blocks. I decided lounge. Locks. Locks. So I decide wait for my car and my new cup. Okay, the well, best nice. part is that I was in, um, you know the um, Linea del Tren? <laughs> I don't know, how do you say that? But yeah. I was, I was um, between the principal, the main street and the, eh, la calle esa, la calle de la, de la línea del tren. And yeah. I was in a, in a acera. Sidewalk? In the sidewalk, yeah. And I tried to don't uh, do a lot of traffic there. Yeah. You know, the hour was... Yeah, coming. beautiful. Yes. Yeah, but you gotta be careful. so I need to be check. careful. Don't burn, don't burn yeah. your car. You need to check a lot of stuff. You need yeah. to check mm -hmm. the pipes if they got uh, hard. If they got too hard, it's better to change them. Yeah, today uh, I I have the um, I have the I can make you check engine. I I think no. Ooh, no, 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 no. Mantenimiento requerido. Oh. It's turned on now. So I need yeah. to check a lot of things because yesterday it wasn't like that. And today, yes. And I don't know why. Maybe for the mix? Well, let's hope it's not that complex. Yes. Yeah. Let's so, hope not. Yeah, because when you start spending on cars like that, man, it gets mm -hmm. yeah. expensive. I know. Well, the good thing is that you got money. No, not really. <laughs> I don't have money. I have credit card. Yeah, that's bad. Mm, but I need to repay. Yeah, you need the car. That. Yeah. Yes. That's that's the thing. Well, Roxana, nice talking to you. Interesting. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm just fine. Just fine. Thanks very much for asking. And tell me, it's the end of the month. How was the month for you? Mm, actually, the, the two last week uh, was very slow in have been very same. slow have been very slow yes oh, really? 
yes. but could you get to your goal? Yes, I, I accomplished my goal, but I, how do you say esperaba que fuera mejor? I expected it to be better. I expected it to be better. I expected it to be better, but, uh, well, I hope to the next month will be better yes. than, than this one. This one, yes. Yeah, yeah, let's hope so, you know. That happens. Some months are like that. They are slow. Sometimes they start good and suddenly everything stops. Everything halts. Yes, because uh, Just give now... me a second, please. Just give me a second. So sorry, guys. A little technical problem. Thanks for being here. So, Amber, I'm sorry I had to, to cut you off. Don't worry, teacher. Well, um, I I will tell you my monk looks like a desert. <laughs> mm. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. But uh, I, I have for the next month. <laughs> yeah, let's hope next month it gets better. Yes, I, I hope. mean that's that's the attitude you must have. I mean, always expecting the better and doing your best, of course. Yes. Welcome to the class, Amar. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. And 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 Frank, hello, Frank. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Where are you, Frank? Uh, I'm here in Las Pilas, teacher. I came today. How is it? How is it? Oh, it's freezing here. <laughs> so now it it's freezing. It's a very cloudy day. Yeah, it was a very cloudy day. Uh, it was drizzling a little bit too during the day. Okay. And tell me how 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 many degrees is it now there? Uh, it's about. Let me check. It's about. Fifteen degrees, almost fifteen degrees. Fifteen. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Yeah, it's very comfortable. Yesterday was yeah. very hot in San Salvador. Yeah. So you arrived today. When are you coming back? Yeah, I arrived, I arrived today and I will return to San Salvador on Friday, Friday afternoon or at the beginning of the night. Mm. Well, yes, it's nice. It's nice. So you had a very interesting day. Well, uh, what about driving? Wasn't it raining? Uh, I I start to to drive here at five thirty a.m. Uh -huh. and yeah and and during the road isn't it wasn't raining at all so it was very very casual road oh. so. But when I I came here to Las Pilas exactly, it was totally different. About 7.30 or 8 a.m. It was very, I don't know how to say it, with a lot of neblina. Foggy. It was very foggy, very cloudy, and for moments drizzling. Right. So, and a lot of humidity. A lot of humidity. Yes, of course. So yeah. it was a very, very slow day for, for that reason. I mean, the people at the project that were not working with high energy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it was, it's. It's a big influence. Like whether it's a big influence yes, yes. in your, in your, uh, how do you say this? Come on, I can. Ah, sorry. Just give me a second, and I cannot believe that happened to me. And it's a good. It's a big influence in your performance. Performance. Yes. Yes. The performance. Yes. So. There, there were some activities that uh, we couldn't do yeah. for that reason. But yeah. the weather is very, very good to stay yeah. here. Yeah. Well, let's hope you enjoy your night as I'm sure you're going to enjoy this class. Welcome to the class, Frank. Yes, Thanks yes. For being here. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, well, welcome all of you. There's Francisco, Fernando, Marcos, Stephanie, Rebecca, Nicolas, Adam, and I couldn't, I didn't talk to that many, Susana. I guess I spoke a lot with the ones that I talked. But welcome, guys, and first activity. Remember, we got us a conversation, but besides the conversation, eh, that activity is for later. Right now, I'm gonna give you a question. You know, uh, today we are going to talk about the environment, okay? And the situation with the environment. So, what do you think future generations will think about how we treat the environment today? What do you think, I mean, they're gonna, what do you think your grandkids, well, first of all, how do you think your grandkids are going to receive this world, this planet? And then what do you think they will say of the way we are treating the planet? Okay, this is a very easy, easy topic. I'll give you five minutes to discuss it. You're gonna be working in groups of three, from three to four members. Uh, rooms are open, please jump in, let's talk.
uh, teacher. Yeah. I'm really apologize, but I'm driving now. Yeah, yeah. So don't worry, I will don't worry, participate no on the next on the next no slide. Okay. Thank you. That's okay. So that what do you think future generation will think about how we treat the environment today? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, the first, the first thing um, we could say that the future generation will receive the country with a giant plastic island flowing. Um, through the ocean is a big problem that the amount of plastic we generate every every year so they must they may think we we didn't treat that right our environment uh, well, in my case, I think that um, uh, another thing is probably uh, they will think bad about us <laughs> because we don't. Um... Christine, Maria? At noon, they are um, watering the plants or also washing the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. or, well, wasting water a lot. And this is a big problem also. They didn't um, practice the three R's like reduce, recycle and reuse. Exactly. Do you recycle at home? I tried. <laughs> I tried. It's difficult because, for example, when I go to the supermarket and I to buy shampoos, mm -hmm. some, uh, uh, how do you say, um, um, para el cuidado personal. Mm -hmm. Personal uh, care? Personal care, yes. When the shampoo finishes, you have to buy another bottle. Oh, yes. And when I try to plant um, plants, yeah, that's correct. And I have to, I try to reuse, but it's difficult because the market is always... Um, the change res respect the life we have today. I don't know, maybe. Maybe there's there's not violence in this country. Maybe will not uh, more bad peoples in this country. Maybe all will be fine to our grandkids. I don't know. I hope so. Well, in my case, I think the. Uh, the kids is more is the it's important to teach about the be careful with the environment. For example, uh, the kids avoid lanzar la basura en la calle. But actually, there's a better for that. You know, there's a better uh, leader. Leader. Yeah, leader. It specifically means to throw garbage. Okay. Leader. It's important. Uh, 
promote the be careful with the environment uh, the the kids avoid the I don't know I'm sorry teach no sé cómo decir avoid what the pollution sorry pollution pollution oh well yes the kids uh, avoid the pollution the general uh, the generation the future generation uh, is possible no have uh, resources important for the life for example the water the the oxygen 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 and other resources important for 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 the life And you, Maria Alejandra, what's your opinion? Um, I think that the, the future generation is uh, think about of in this moment uh, the humans or the different people to do more for care the planet. And, and for example, in the other countries to have a very good system to recycle or like this. And I think that in El Salvador don't have a lot of a lot of system to obligate, um, to promote or to be, or have a benefit to uh, try to do desechos. Disposals of garbage, litter. How uh, better to make the difference or like it. I think that uh, in this moment uh, for the country to learn a lot of to uh, for the take care of the planet and do and make more things for the start. Well, I, other programs, for example, uh, are the, or is the, the basura teacher? Garbage, trash. Is the garbage, the garbage. Uh, many people, many people uh, uh, tiran, uh, how do you say tiran teacher? Throw. Throw. Throw uh, different, uh, different uh, products, different products to the street, at the street. And it, the, uh, those, those, uh, gener Gener, gener, generan, to gener, generate, to generate different problems, for example. Oh, the teacher is with us. He's back. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's here. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, Heidi. Oh, Heidi is with a lot of work. I'm on my way home already. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Let me know when, as soon as you are available, so okay. I can like get you participating in different activities. Okay. Okay, teacher. And Jose Wilfredo, what happened to you? Oh, you didn't jump into the group, right? Yeah. 
Yes, teacher, because I arrived in my house. So I switched to my computer. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Also, here okay. was Susana and Victor. I have a story today. I guess that is like that. When I want to say to a pen, I have a sorry. I felt sorry today. Mm, mm, mm. I felt sorry. When you say I felt sorry, eh, como que la mente And um, to say I have a pen. Oh, que algo me apenó. Uh -huh. I was a chain. I was a chain. Yep. Okay, uh, today I have to speak to a spot with one, uh, uh, well, with a lot of Hindus. Um, oh, really? Yeah. And um, was really ex, uh, complex, try to understand them. Their accent is kind of funny. Yeah, that's right, but they... Yeah, and, and you must understand something. And in yeah. India, actually, English is is one of like, the official languages. Yeah, that's right. Most, uh, more than 70%, 75% <laughs> of their, their population is English. Yeah, but the other thing that we must take into... Uh, into an account is the fact that the, the the English they speak is it's got a big influence of England. Oh really? Yeah. Remember they were a big colony. Uh -huh. they were well it was colony. really difficult to try to understand them. Ah. It just takes time. To be honest with you, I mean, you after, mean I, after I... Hold on, I'm, I got a feedback, and I don't know who's... Uh, after a couple of days, in two, three days of listening and talking to them, you catch on the rhythm, because mostly it's a matter of rhythm. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, because... and their pitch, that, that's something funny, you know? They speak pretty high. Yeah, that's right. The, the, their pitch is high, very high. It's more nasal. Yeah, yeah that's right. But it is really complex. But I guess with the with with the time, I will understand a lot because yeah, of most course. of my coworkers are Hindu, are Indian. Oh, really? They're yeah. Hindi. Yep. That's nice. I mean, you'll have. A, that's actually a good opportunity, a very nice opportunity because you gotta, you gotta listen, you gotta practice, you gotta understand, and remember, you are not just learning the language, also the culture, and that's something very interesting when you are speaking with people that share. In your case, you share with them one language, but there's a big difference in culture. Yeah, that's right. Also, my new boss is from Hindu. Oh, really? Well. Yeah. Good luck, my friend. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, they're cool. They're actually cool. Very hardworking people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope everything turns out okay for you. Okay, thank you very much, Jose Wilfredo. Nice talking to you. <laughs> so let's see, Fernando, tell me, Fernando, what do you think future generations will think about how you treat the environment today? Good evening, teacher. Uh, really? They probably will think about that we are we are not aware of the damage <laughs> that we can do to the environment because uh, it's complicated. Take care of the environment require a uh, teamwork, but the most of the people don't care. And the less people that it's care uh, cannot convince easy to go across the picture. But 
I, in my opinion, uh, <laughs> the, the future generation, I don't know, we had bad concepts about us. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> Let's see, okay. Henry, what do you think, Henry? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Uh, I think so that uh, our future generation is gonna be, I don't know, maybe more respect about the uh, environment, respect about nature. Respectful. Re oh, I'm sorry, respectful about the, the environment because I think so if we, we have a good education for our kids, uh, they can be, the change in the world because okay. because if we don't stay in the same in the same way that we are now uh, we have to do the difference with our kids because all kids when they are just a little a little a little little a little baby can learn about how they can care about things are about things yeah just the, just that okay perfect thank you you're welcome guys let me get the second attendance of the night please uh ada susana casares mendoza present teacher thank you ambarelli alfaro gomez present ana claudia gonzalez velasquez present teacher francisco eduardo figueroa mejia Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Here I am, teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Uh, Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. I'm here. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. <laughs> María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Let's see. Uh, we still got time for this type of activities, but now we're gonna make it shorter, just three minutes. How do environmental concerns influence what you buy? Okay, in this case, I want, listen, I want one answer per group. So I'm gonna pick one member of the group and I'm gonna ask specifically that person, okay? So I'm gonna send you to the groups right now. Please jump in, just three minutes.
market that a market that don't respect don't have any respectful about the the environment the, for example they they had a lot of uh, plastic bags and only uh, i don't know how do you say solo sirven o solo funcionan como basura do you, do you have any idea yes. Uh, like, uh, well, well. Uh, in the other supermarket, I use a plastic bag. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember that I bought uh, the um, recycling bags. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know where are there. Recycling. <laughs> Sorry, recycling. Really, you don't know where where they are. Yeah, I don't know. Roxana buy and they don't use for more time, <laughs> and then buy a other bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then I need to buy plastic bags. To be honest, I prefer that because you always are using the plastic bag for the trash. And if you don't use plastic bags in a market, you need to buy in the market um, ¿qué? Una, una bolsita, otra bolsita de bolsas plásticas. So you always need to plastic, uh, plastic bags to different things. So I understand that is complex to the environment, but we need it a lot. So the, the reason is that we don't have a recycling culture and it's complex because we don't use a um, bottle, no sé si what, bottle, a specific bottle to specific things for example for plastic or paper or or something like that so always you are using plastic bags for all the trash well in my case for example the the conduct uh, for me is, for example, uh, prepare the organic organic waste uh, for 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 different days, uh, uh, for different days, and the 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 product final. The or final the final product is fertilizer fertilizer fertilizante yeah. or abono yeah. fertilizer uh, is organic is a product organic for example the the carrot uh, lechug uh, the pineapple lettuce or, lettuce, lettuce lettuce, uh, pineapple, uh, watermelon, or different, different, uh, different waste I uh, use for prepare fertilizer. Uh, other action, for example, and I, uh, I don't like, I don't like use uh, plastic bags. Uh, I no use plastic bags. I use uh, paper bags uh, for different days. No, for unit use, uh, unique unit use, unit use, uso único. No, only use. Ah, uh, thank you. Only use. No, for only use uh, for different. For example, uh, I uh, uh, is. In different, in different moments, I use tape, tape for, for 
continue for con for to continue uh, the the bag of paper and uh, other activities is for example um well uh, well i don't remember the 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 use the use responsibility of the water in my in my house for example the 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 grifos eh, o chorros como se dice pause grifos pause pause for example the pause eh, the the deben ser funcionales de no no deben gotear they must not leak they both must lit. Así. They must not lit. They must not lit. Eh, eh, well, well, this. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. How do environmental concerns influence what you buy? Um, who am I gonna ask? Ana Claudia, can we do they affect what you buy? We were discussing in the group that yes, they affect us a lot because when we go to the supermarket, it, the three, uh, we were in an agreement that we try to use less bags, plastic bags, or when we purchase things, we select the ones that are stuff. refilled. When we purchase stuff. Okay, when we purchase stuff, uh, we select uh, those uh, that refill the plastic bottles we have. And, and yes, we are we, we uh, recognize that we are very influenced at the time of buying things because of the environmental stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you. Heidi, mm -hmm. what about you? In our case, teacher, we conclude that none of us in the group uses straws or disposable dishes and always try to use recyclable materials. At least we try most of the time. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, hmm, let's see. Uh, Jacqueline, what about you? How do environmental concerns influence what you buy? Well, as Ana Claudia said, we conclude that um, little things make difference. Yeah, because, uh, well, the most important, I think, teacher is that um, the children that we have in our house or are around us, uh, they learn what um, about your examples, uh, the examples that we give them. Um, it doesn't matter how much uh, in the school the, um, they learn about environment. They uh, follow the examples that we give them. It's my opinion. Perfect. Oh, totally agree with you. Let's see now, guys. What do you think about it, Francisco? Well, teacher. Well, uh, I think in uh, with my my partner, uh, 
in my case, uh, I tried uh, don't upset uh, many back when I uh, go to uh, post uh, something to the market. Buy. Uh, I try, buy. Yeah, I, I, I try uh, is uh, the, the thing is, it's small. I don't accept the, the back. Okay. Oh, yeah, little things, but I mean, that's the way we start, no? Right, teacher, right. Little, it's, it's little thing, <laughs> but. Yeah, no, uh, but, but I mean, that's the way we go. I mean, uh, we go little things by little things and at the end, all of them pile up to something. They amount to something, right? Right, teacher, right. Okay, thank you very much. Now, guys, let's see. Let me. Uh, uh, I need to show you something here. Let's see. Okay, we have a text. It's in your manual in page number 21. And it goes like this I recently purchased an expensive electronic item from TickBay. Their return policy says 14 days to return. I wanted to play with the item for a few days to see if I wanted to keep it. Now I'm not getting a, re a refund because the package was not in perfect condition. Uh, Mr. Jose Wilfredo, please continue with number two. Okay. Just a little more. Okay. I ordered some PC speakers. Not sure whatever they were faulty or just not suited to my sound card, but the e story took them back without a question. I didn't claim they were faulty rather than unwanted, but I thought they actually checked them before refunding. Doubt, I doubt. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Maria Alejandra, number three. My wife just returned a camera case that was too small for her cam camera. We had a lot of problems with returning the product and we had to pay shipping to send the camera back. We wait for two months before receiving their refund. Thank you very much. And let's see. The last one goes to Jose Marcos. Tips for shopping okay. online. Okay, okay. Ethan's book on sale may have shortened return period or may not uh, be returnable. Returns may not be as simple when items are bought through a third party website. Say all receipts or other paperwork for the items that you purchase. Check the number of days you have to notify the return and item. And check if there are any conditions like hidden the original package. Um, check. Okay. I can see clearly. Check if the online store. Check if the online store will cover for return shipping. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, we got us an exercise. A return policy is, and then we got options. Okay, how we gonna do the exercise? Working in the small groups, three minutes. It's enough for you to solve this exercise. I'll be sending you the the images in a few seconds, okay? Uh, teacher, just one question. I was practicing yes, the mid-time uh, for the uh, reports pitch. 
but I got a, a mistake always, and I was checking the the box, the grammar box, but I understand how how can be uh, translate to report speech, but when I try it, I got a mistake. I don't know if we can review it. Just give me a second. Because all military has uh, uh, one part that has like two direct speech sentence. Which exercise is it? Is um, the midterm. The midterm. Mm -hmm. Why don't you send me the, the, the image at the end of the class by WhatsApp and I'll help you there, okay? Okay, okay, perfect teacher. Fine. Thank you so much. Haiti is waiting for you. Okay, I will join the group right now. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. It's unit two, page 21. Yes, 21. Okay, the, the exercise. Exercise two. The size of the, the box. The size of the, the square, below to the square, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. The first one says our return policy is Go ahead. A process a customer follows the chip previously purchased my merchandise. Back to the store. Mm -hmm. Back to the store. Mm. I guess it is the process uh, customer followed to chip previously purchases merchandise back to the store. Yes. A written one to give the purchase of a new product or service. Of a new product or service. 14 days to return. Uh -huh. 14 days to return. What was the reason uh, the customer returned his purchase in paragraph number two? Mm -hmm. Of the product.
Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh -huh. Hey, number one, our return policy is I'm sorry, your microphone. There you go. Oh. A written warranty given to purchaser of a new product or service. Okay, let's see, that's number one. And the question says, a return policy is no, sorry, teacher, uh, it's the first one, isn't it? The process uh, a customer follows to ship previously purchased merchandise back to the store. Okay, okay, sorry. that's the one, that's the one. Thank <laughs> sorry. you. Okay. Now, number two, number two goes to Fernando. Please tell me, Fernando. Number two. How many days does the store in paragraph one provide for return? In paragraph one says they had 14 days to return. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay. Number three, Marcos. Okay. Um, uh, I don't remember the question, can you? Tell me what let is the me question? Share, let me share it with you. I remember the answer, but the question is not no. Okay. What, what was, was the, the reason, reason for the consumer? Okay. Please continue. What was the reason the consumer returned his purchase in prior number two oh, of faulty product? Okay, perfect. Thank you. And the last one, please, Roxana. Okay, the last one. How long did, did it take for the customer in paragraph three to receive the refund? Mm, five months. You sure? Ah, no. Five months. We waited for two months. Yeah, two months, sorry. Okay, no problem, no problem. That was reading and comprehension exercise. Now we are going to talk about something else. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Marcos, hello Marcos, how are you? Uh, hello teacher, fine, fine. Everything is okay. Okay, Marcos, I got good news for you. Okay. You are buying a house. Oh, really? Yes. Call me anytime. To, you're gonna a ask. No, no worry, don't worry. You're gonna ask for advice for two of your classmates. You're going to ask for advice to Jose Wilfredo and Heidi. Okay. Okay, perfect. So oh, Heidi. Please start. So Heidi, I'm going to buy a, a new house. I don't know um, what neighborhood you recommend to me to move on that you know, perhaps one that could be so dangerous to me, you know. I I I I, I really can uh, I really want to enjoy of my children. I don't want to die so young. Okay. Okay, Marquito, I suggest you to look for a house in the area of Antigua Cuscatlán, which is one of the safest cities near San Salvador. And I recommend you to ask for financial help in a bank, in Cuscatlán Bank. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. Now, but you now Jose Wilfredo, what do you think? What? What advice can you give him? Okay, Marcus, I could advise that first you have to check 
uh, the maybe uh, the area if the area is good to live it has a lot of uh, I don't know if you like uh, the the junk food but if you like it that's gonna be better because you can go to drop off uh, some junk food and then I don't know maybe your lifestyle has to accommodate uh, at your area so it depends what you like and then when you buy a house you have to check the the blueprint first because you need to know a lot of, about the construction that is uh, according that you cannot spend more than you have in your budget yeah yeah so, you, you know uh how do you say I think it's kind of expensive that area to purchase a house. I don't know. I, I would like to have a house with a garden or or a public park to visit, you know. I don't know okay. what what neighborhood I can choose. I could recommend Merliot City if you want to, to visit a, a good park. And if you want to know, if you want to have a, a all, well, a lot of a commercial near. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, guys, the three of you. Now, uh, one, I got one word for you. Steep. Steep. Thank you, Marcos. Thank you, Sir Alfredo and Heidi. The word steep is used for sayings uh, like, uh, when we are talking about the landscape, something that is like empinado, we say it in Spanish. But also okay. we use it when we are talking about prices, about something that is too expensive for me. I say, oh, that, I think that's steep, too steep for me, okay? Just a little word for you to, to keep in mind. Okay, okay. now yes. let's see, thanks to you guys. Now, let's see, where's Maria Alejandra? Hi. Oh, there she is. Hello, Maria Alejandra. Hello. Okay, Maria Alejandra, look, I have a problem. Uh, I need to know, I have never lived in an apartment. And you know, I'm kind of curious. I wanna move from where I live and I wanna go to San Salvador. And I'm thinking about an apartment, but I'm not so sure. I cannot make up my mind. Uh, what advice can you give me? I mean, what are the benefits of living in, a, in an apartment if there's any? Mm, I think that when you should live in an apartment, uh, in a different apartment, the advantage uh, is uh, the... Um, um, is more cheap that to compare with a cheaper, cheaper. To compare, uh, cheaper. cheaper to compare with a house because uh, I think that ha you have you pay for more space or patio or like this and the apartment you have the opportunities to live in in a a small space, but the distribution is okay. And when you don't have a big family, uh, it's a very good option because you don't have a lot of things or a lot of, uh, I don't know, muebles. <laughs> furniture. Uh, furniture, uh -huh. and it's a good idea when you are a star. Okay, perfect, thank you very much. Uh -huh. What do you think about it, Amber? What would you prefer? Buying a house or buying an apartment? I never pay in a payment, uh, pay in the apartment. I, I only paid one house. 
Okay, but I, I mean, if you have the opportunity to buy another one, would you prefer a house or an apartment? I prefer a house. Would you mind telling me why? Well, I think it's more independent about uh, about the apartment and maybe it have more space. Okay. It's depending the the lo location, right? But I prefer a house is for the space. Okay. Um, only that. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Now, next activity. I will divide you in small groups. I'm just going to give you one topic and you need to make up a conversation related to it, about it, or specifically do what the topic is about. Simple. Job interview. Okay, a job interview. It's up to you if you want to make a conversation about giving advice to one of your classmates, how to prepare for a job interview. It's up to you if you want to do a job interview. Okay, it's up to you if you want to talk about the previous job interview you have had. Okay, you will have uh, exactly eight minutes to prepare your conversation. Am I clear with the instructions? Yes, okay, perfect. Yes. Please jump in. You have eight minutes to perform the activity. Just show interview. Uh, teacher, just a, just a question. Uh, the topic is a job interview. Yep. Up to you. You want to do a job interview? You want to talk about the previous one? Let's talk about the previous one. Or perhaps, I mean, what about if you, Jose Wilfredo, want to apply to to work for Banco Cuscatlan, and you know, the first interview you're going to have is with Heidi. <laughs> Could be, oh, Heidi. it's up to you, it's, it's up to Heidi. you. I'm just, I'm just throwing ideas, it's up to you. Better, I'm oh, gonna be going. Bills to pay. Oh, then she's gonna tell you, oh, you cannot work here. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, an advice for both of you. Uh, <laughs> That Francisco oh. and you are going are giving tips or ideas on how to perform in the, in the interview because I have 10 years that, that I haven't worked. 10 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you just can imagine that I don't know too much about new things. Uh-huh. Well, okay. What, what can you advise to, to how to wear? What, what can I wear? I don't know. You tell me. Well, for well, I think that is you have to keep in mind 
Oh, yeah. Um, to start, what is your profession or what kind of job? Uh, yeah, I think that I'm going to have my interview for uh, I, a receptionist. The receptionist. Uh -huh. In a hotel, in a hotel. Ah, first of all, well, for sure you have to to know more than two languages. I mean, uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay. Um, according to the clothes, uh, you have to wear formal clothes. Like, do you recommend a specific color? Mm, yeah, for example, um. I don't know, colores tierra, terra, terra, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, but I don't know how do you say that in English, like browns, gray, browns, blacks. Uh -huh. ah, okay, okay. Um, jackets and pants. And for sure you have to, to wear high heels. Oh, no, I don't like <laughs> high heels. <laughs> You know oh, no. <laughs> I used to wear high heels in the past, but now, no. <laughs> but, but in case it's necessary, I guess I will need to use middle heels. <laughs> middle heels. To, wear, to wear, to wear. I will need to wear middle heels. Thank you. Yes. Okay. In makeup, I think yeah. that is not necessary. Use a lot. Okay. Just have to look. We need a manager. We need a manager for commercial area. So I think that you you could be the, the, the person that for this for this job. Okay. Who are you hiring, Fernando? Ramon. Sure. Oh, Ramon. man, that, that guy is gonna be a problem for you at the company, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. okay. Ramon okay. goes like we what? We finished it. You ready? So you what? What you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> you're gonna do an interview. Yes. Okay. Perhaps you are going to represent it to your classmates. We will see. Okay, teacher. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, but I can prepare a conversation like an interview of work. That was one option. Ah, okay. Sorry, I had to get up for a moment. Okay. Yeah, but that's one of the options. It's okay if you prefer it like that. Let me go check the rest of the group. Okay. Okay. So, the teacher, yeah? the activity is uh, that we have to prepare a, like a job interview or just no, discuss no. The about topic, The topic is job interview. You can, you have options. It's up to you if you want to talk about discuss about how job interviews are done. If you want to talk about the, a job interview that happened and you had in the past, if you want to okay. represent a job interview, I mean, it's okay. To, I'm just giving you got the topic. Okay, got it. Yeah, we were right. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of job interview do, do you like the most? My first uh, interview. So, but then, so the second one was normal because I got the the skills, I got as well the uh, the information that they really need. So, like an experience. So, if you have an experience, right? So, it was normal. And uh, nowadays, so I'm still working. <laughs> Okay. Um, I remember the one question uh, the interviewer asked me asked me and was, "What can I do? Why can I do to improve the company?" It's common the interviewer asks you something like that, and in um, when someone from a culture is doing an interview with you, they always ask you something like what kind of animal do you like to be <laughs> All of it, right? yeah so it is kind of complicated right so in spanish so we can answer immediately right but sometimes when we don't have sort of like the the 
uh, like the common uh, vocabulary or something like that. So it's kind of difficult, right? Because we cannot make it up. So, but in Spanish, I can say that, so you can go with the flow and then so you can answer the question and also that you have to be careful with that, right? Because if you say something that is not related to, with the topic, so so you will, they will kill you. So with the, with the question that they asked you, so, but I can say that in English is kind of the same, but uh, there are some words that uh, can express so the real thing. So, and so with some uh, sentences that you can say, so it's nice because they will understand, right? But I, but I can say that is you have to pref pref you have to be uh, ready to to overcome those objections too in order that you can feel comfortable with the questions that they ask. So, but it's kind of tricky, right? I, I, I feel now that it's nice, common, but once we are so on the choose, so like a uh, form, if you continue or not in the process. But in my case, I remember that my job interview just was when the was with the regional boss and she asked some little things and then she hired me hired me me contrato yeah mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of process in in that in my previous job um I remember that I I was a English interview, test interview. Um, I remember that I have a teacher. I connected from my computer and lost the connection on my cell phone. Yeah, which was uh, the group? Who were the uh, group? Uh, with Heidi? Roxana Heidi. and Jose Wilfredo. Okay, don't worry. I'm sending you there. Yeah, please. Thank Stop you. Fighting with yourself. Uh, yes. <laughs>
Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I got time for a couple of you. Who is it going to be? Hmm. Uh -huh. Who is it going to be? Let's see. Anna Claudia, Francisco, and Jacqueline. We knew it. <laughs> Talk to us, guys. Okay. Uh, Francisco and Jacqueline. Um, hi, guys. How are you? Hi, Anna Claudia. Very good. Nice to see you. Uh, thank yeah. you. I'm worried, you know, because um, I have like around 10 years not working. You know, I've been staying at home. And tomorrow I have an interview. Uh, I'm applying for a position in a hotel oh, as a receptionist. Mm -hmm. I don't know if maybe yeah. you or Francisco can give me some advice what to do because uh, you just imagine after 10 years, I don't know nothing. I don't know if something changed. I don't know how people handle those things nowadays. Please help me. And, uh, first, congratulations because it's a it's a big opportunity. Oh, thank and, you. Uh, the best uh, wishes and uh, I uh, well, for me I, I I think the the is the is for a recession. Mm -hmm. uh, I is the, the the most important in the in the interview is your attitude. Because uh -huh. uh, uh, the job is for uh, 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 resection, and the resection is the first the first person that you uh, contact when you go into uh, to the company, and the the and the the attitude is very important. Oh, okay. very important. I think uh, it's you uh, working in that. Okay, thank you, Francisco. And Jacqueline, I don't know if you. Yeah. Um, when an account, yeah. For sure, you got, you will get the 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 opportunity. You are very prepared. Oh, thank um, you. Yeah. And give me peace. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Okay, just uh, I can um, advise that mm -hmm. you uh, can you have to wear a formal clothes to the interview, mm -hmm. and you can also use accessories, but not um, and they ha it had to be discreet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, remember. You have to be to keep uh, eye contact all the time. Don't get nervous. And uh, you can, Ana Claudia, you can get the, the opportunity. And I wish the best. Thank you very much, my friends. I will let you know tomorrow, and I will uh, uh, call you and tell you how the thing uh was going on and and let's see what's happened thank you Bye -bye. okay what's a pleasure Ana Claudia. thank you Ana Claudia. hi okay guys <laughs> very well done uh it's been 10 years for me without working okay and in that in that case you can express the you can use the passive voice and Francisco, you said uh, you can say the best of wishes or I wish you the best. Now, to be honest with you, if you say the best of wishes, that sounds old fashioned. Mm -hmm. it, that's pretty old fashioned. It's too formal. You can see it on written, mm -hmm. but not sure. usually when you're speaking. In, in so the, I, the most the, the, the most common is I wish you the best. I wish you the best. Yeah. Okay. Uh, teacher, thank you. Thank you. No, thanks to you guys. 
it was a very interesting activity. I know that all of you prepared something interesting and I know that all of you wanted to participate, but you know, time's a factor that I need to take into an account. And I know that some of you are pretty tired, but uh, I was checking, I was jumping from group to group. There was just one group that I couldn't make it on time. So sorry, but um, it was very interesting, quite interesting. Tomorrow we are going to do an activity, one like this and one's going to be different, okay? Because I will be bearing the, the, the way in which we perform the activity and the topics, but still, we are going to be creating conversations, talking, being spontaneous is very important for you guys. So, uh, well, I hope you have fun in the class, but it's time for me to get the final attainments. For the ones who it's possible, please, uh, if you can turn on your camera, remember that's always cool because that's a requirement from in support. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Thank you, Stephanie. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. 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 Thank you, guys. Hey, hope you enjoyed your night. Rest. See you tomorrow. It was a pleasure. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night, bye. Everybody. Good night everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye, everyone. Have a good bye, one. Everybody. Be careful on the street, Ileana. I'm home right now. <laughs> you going, you're not going to go back, pick her up? Yeah, I have to stay up. Until what time? Hopefully midnight. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's ten. Go to sleep a couple of hours. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm uh, with a cup of coffee. So you cannot go to sleep for a little while, then wake up, go get her. No. <laughs> Doesn't work for you. <laughs> no. No. No tengo la fuerza de voluntad para volver a levantarme. <laughs> Oh, really? And at what time are you going to wake up tomorrow? What time do you need to be up? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. So uh, how far is it from your house? Mm, it's pretty close, my work. Mm, without traffic? Easily 10 minutes? No, I mean the concert, the concert. Ah, how the concert. Hasta el estadio de Cuscatlán, no sé, ya con la calle sola y bien rápido. <laughs> That's why be careful. I think maybe 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. So let's Without see. Without cars. But, let's, uh, make it, let's make it uh, 20. 20 minutes to arrive, 
and five minutes to get to her. That's 25 and 20 minutes back. That's uh, 45 minutes, 15 minutes to get ready for bed. 1 a.m. you are going to be. 1 a.m. Can you believe that? And you're going to wake up at 6. That's a normal day for me. What? <laughs> yeah, that's a normal day for me. I mean, when I really, really, really go to sleep early, I go to sleep around 11.30, 11.40. Well, every day yeah, sounds, sure. sounds pretty tiring. You get used to it. Well, yeah. yeah. But yeah. after this, my sister can tell that I don't love her. <laughs> How old is she? Uh, she's 23. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah. you got no excuse. You're doing a lot for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and aprovechando, teacher, eh, eh, tengo un par de dudas. Bueno, no dudas, sino más bien como consultas en oh, la plataforma. No. Let me get it. Let me get it. Actually, yeah, it's a midterm, and uh -huh. it's all super sure cool, that. super bien, pero me pasa que hay algunas actividades, como por ejemplo, en la dos punto, ¿qué te digo? We're talking about the midterm. Uh, yeah, yeah, the midterm. Midterm got part one, part two, part three, part four. Yeah, I already finished the midterm and all okay. parts results very, the results was very, very good. Okay. It's good, but uh, I noticed that uh, some parts are, are exercises uh, that we did, that I did, sorry. Okay. In the part two. Part but, two. Let me uh -huh, see. But, but in part two. Yeah. Eh, eh, como que me lo pone malo. La respuesta que yo creo que es. Y en el midterm me la toma como buena. Entonces no sé si es como algo de la plataforma. Oh, no, 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 my dear. Uh, okay. In part number two. Well, <laughs> You get comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at my heels. They are killing oh. me. <laughs> Take them off, my dear. <laughs> Let me see. Section. That's why two. I don't wear. That's why I don't wear heels. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I love heels. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you will get along with. Uh, your classmate Roxana. She's <laughs> she got like no, she's got like last time we checked around 28 pairs of high heels. No, I don't have so many. She loves high heels. Well, uh, uh, for example, teacher, uh, do you remember? Uh, the in section two, uh, homework 2.5, that we had to match the terms uh, with the meanings. I noticed that, that the platform is the same, that put that it's wrong, but it, it's right. For example, yeah. go, uh... or, Yeah, yeah. The problem is that this, uh, perhaps you don't remember, or perhaps you weren't here that day. Uh, I made a report. I'm still waiting for the people from the, the company to fix it up. Yeah, I remember you. It's, you tell us that it's wrong. It's wrong in the in the two point uh, something. This is two point five. Yeah. But in the new term, I guess it's okay, right? Yeah, uh, exactly. And for example, 
uh, well, in this part, in the section two, the first exercise is match the, the, match the terms with the meanings. Mm -hmm. Then we have a, um, a reported speed information questions. And one, two, three, number three said, when did you move to the city? I put my new neighbor asked uh, with ED at the end, asked me when I had moved and the verb move. I okay. put- Okay, you are talking about part two, uh, but not in 2.5, right? Yeah, 2.5. Yeah, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to, in the section two, the exercise 2.5. Yeah, we got. Uh, uh, it's below the first exercise that is much. My, my new neighbor asked when i had moved to this city oh yeah i know what's the problem and it's gonna be funny for you tell me uh add an extra period at the end what yeah an somebody extra. when they when they were typing the, the the answers when they were typing the answers uh, i guess somebody uh, made a typo but the answer is my new neighbor asked me when when no, i had new no 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 my, no, my no, no, new no. neighbor asked, asked when i had um, i put asked me asked when i had moved to this city. Yeah, check it out. Ah, in the yeah. We got it. Mm hmm. You're right. And I think it's the same with the next one. Ask, just see. ask. Just ask. Which one? Which one? Which one? The, the last one, number four. When will I receive my furniture? My new neighbor asked when mm -hmm. I will. Would receive, yeah, remember that will change into would. Would, yeah, receive and the verb in past tense. Which one? Receive? receive? No, because, yeah, no, no, remember, remember something. There's an extra rule here whenever you got a model, you will always, always place next to the model a verb in present. Okay, okay, okay. It doesn't matter if it's a main verb or an auxiliary. Like when we are speaking like in conditional sentence. Uh, I will have, you see, I will have had you will have a had. stomach cake if I had eaten a lot. I would have present. The auxiliary for the for the present perfect is in present. So whenever, whenever you get a model, after the model, always, that's mandatory. A verb in simple present, okay? Okay. So, so in this case, the answer is my new neighbor asked when would, when- I would, when I would. When I, I put the I, <laughs> I put when when will I receive? No, when I will receive. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Mm. So in in the two point five, uh, I just we just have to wait to yeah. to for them to, to the, fix it. Okay, then we have to find 2.8. Uh, that whole part is good. Mm, good, good, good. 
Then we have 2.11. We have definitions. Mm, oh, uh, it's good. Good, good. Then 2.14. Good, good, good. Oh, here in the 2.14. Two point fourteen. Okay. Yeah. The last is the last exercise okay. before the yeah. term. I got yeah. I got two fourteen. Okay. The first exercise is match the meaning with the corresponding terms to identity theft. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's good. All that part. Then the next uh, instructions type in reported speech. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> no. Well, I got wrong one, two, three. Okay, we'll do something that it's going to be easier for you. Can you open your your WhatsApp in your computer? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me... No, let's see. Yeah, ready. Hold on. I, I finished Your this part. Okay. Oh my gosh, hold on, I made a mistake. I was gonna send you an image, but you were going to appear in the image and you don't need that. <laughs> hold on. Okay, very good. Okay. Mm, yeah, but well, the first uh, she said I had that in green, so it's okay. The number two, we went out, and she told me. She told me they went. Out, or she told me they were not. Oh, she told me they were not before, or they had gone. I put, she told me that she told me that they had gone out the night before. Oh, I put, she told me they had gone out last night. Oh. Had gone, I, I have. That's correct, but the night, the night is, is the night before. Out the night, the night before. Let me check. Mm. Yeah. Number three. Uh, 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 she told, uh, let me see my answer. I put, she told me that she hadn't, she told me, oh, the verb is gone, gone. Yeah, when you get pattern, it's gone. Mm -hmm. The only problem with those ones is when you get into the apostrophe, sometimes it gets mm -hmm. gone. Sí, porque creo que eso es lo que... She told me that they... 
No, number three. Let's do hadn't. something. She told me that she hadn't gone to the party yet, but. Let's do something, let's do something. I'll send you something and you copy paste. Okay, hadn't, I think is the, the apostrophe or? Okay. Can you copy paste from what I sent you just now? Yeah. Give me a sec. She told me that she hadn't gone to the party. Copy. Just one of them because I sent mm -hmm. yeah. all the options. I choose the one. last one. Okay. I just hadn't gone. Nope. Pick another one. Pick it over. No, I ate the S. Nope. She told me she didn't go. Maybe. Yeah, the first. Okay. She told me she didn't go. And number five. I won't see you tomorrow. I will. She said that she wouldn't. See, let me see. Five. She said she wouldn't see me tomorrow, she or she me. said that she wouldn't see me tomorrow. Let me see. I put she. Ah. As she told. Told me that she wouldn't see me. No, 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 no. Just like no, no, this. No. She said she wouldn't see me tomorrow. I know. So I, I, I had. She, she wouldn't. See. Yeah. That's what I wrote. I, I changed. Told me. I, I get. I got confused right now. She said that she wouldn't. She said that By she wouldn't. Moment. Mm. Mm. She said uh, she wouldn't see me tomorrow. Period. Maybe. No. She said that she or wouldn't try, see me. Try whichever of those two that I sent you. Both of them are correct. I think it's the apostrophe. That's why, copy paste the one that I just sent you. Okay. I'm just sending you exactly what the system is asking yeah. for. She said that she wouldn't. My apostrophe was a seed. Yeah. <laughs> that, will, that must be the problem. Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, and okay. So that's all. Okay, perfect. I finished the section two and I finished I finished the midterm. So we're cool. Ye yesterday. I did yesterday the midterm. Okay, I will recheck now in order to to update my 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 cheat. Okay. Okay. Well my dear. Glad to be of assistance. Thank you, teacher, for your help. No problem, no problem. Have a good night. Be careful, drive safe. Yeah. Mañana le cuento. <laughs> bye bye. Have a good one. Bye bye. Good night. Be careful. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye.